So recently I blew a set of speakers on my editing system. They were a cheap set of Behringer MS-20s and they've been surprisingly uh, dependable and useful for a work from home situation. Uh, I don't need to do a lot of critical mixing, I just need, need to be able to hear what I'm doing at a reasonable volume. So um, I got loud one day and I blew a tweeter and I needed to replace it. So because they were dependable, I've replaced them with a new set of Behringer speakers, a, a next model up. So probably get laughed at for using Behringer, but as I said, I don't need to do critical mixing, I just need to hear it. I need to be pretty dependable. So uh, what I did is I bought the Media 40s, which are uh, uh, the next sort of step up. And the thing that appealed to me about this is that it's uh, it connects by USB, so it's a digital, digital connection. And uh, <clears throat> I kind of like the idea of having a digital connection, so I can just do a direct out selected in my editing software's output settings and hopefully because it's digital it won't have the you know noisy inputs and whatnot anyhow i'm going to do a quick unboxing uh, i'll hook it up see how it sounds and give a little little rundown of what i think of it that's well, nice i mean it uh it looks nice feels substantial it's got a nice texture has uh, grills over the tweeter and the and the main driver there. Uh, it's a attractive little speaker. All right, so this is the speaker that has the amplifier built into it. it has has volume control on the front. Feels nice. Also has a three and a half millimeter headphone jack and an aux in. And on the back, it uh, has the connection to hook over to the speaker on the left, uh, and it also has a USB input and some additional inputs. Uh, again, feels like a nice little quality piece of kit. We'll see what it sounds like here in a sec. Uh, we've got the connection from uh, right speaker to the left, we have power cable, uh, and we have an instruction manual. So, I will hook it up and we'll see what it sounds like. All right, so I uh, <clears throat> hooked it up via USB to the uh, computer, and as I mentioned, it did not come with a USB Type B connector, so be prepared to uh, provide your own. Now I'm Mac based, but it was as simple as uh, simple as could be to set it up. I simply went into the uh, sound setup, and under the output tab, I selected it shows up as a USB sound device right here it starts playing immediately. So that was as simple as it uh, needed to be. And then here's a review I did a week or so ago, and uh, you can hear it play here. Doing the follow-up on this chair. Um, I did do, uh, as it turned out, some 14, 15 hour days in this chair in the last couple. So amazingly quick and easy to set up. Uh, that was one of the benefits of the USB connection. Okay, so I just uh, connected those speakers to a Mac editing system via USB. It couldn't have been simpler. Uh, as I showed, just running it through the sound uh, system preferences, it shows up immediately as a USB sound device. I selected it, and it instantly became usable, and um, literally just hooked it up, but it works as expected. Sounds pretty good, so uh, please, it's replace the speakers that I blew, and sounds at least as good, I think. So. I will follow up in a little bit after I've had a chance to actually work with it and let you know my, my further thoughts, um, having used it professionally. So uh, please like and subscribe so that if I do any more of these videos, you'll be notified and um, I hope it's useful. Thanks. So now that I've done the sort of unboxing and uh, mini, mini review of the Behringer USB 40 media speakers, uh, I just wanted to touch base, it's been a couple weeks now, and uh, I converted my desk to a stand-up adjustable, and one of the things that was very beneficial about these speakers being USB is that because I wanted to minimize the number of cables that I had to manage as this desk goes up and down, I uh, installed a USB hub on the back of my desk underneath, ran a single cable to the computer, and was able to connect all my USB devices using just a single cable to the computer. So I've detailed that in a follow-up video 
to my review of the whole stand-up desk conversion process. So uh, I'll put a link to that up above. Uh, please go check it out. You can see how I accomplished everything. But I uh, just wanted to mention here, that's an additional benefit of these Behringer speakers being USB connected. So just wanted to throw that in there and uh, please like and uh, that way you'll be notified if I uh, when I do more of these. So thanks very much. Bye.